Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The square of any integer has the form 4k or 4k plus 1. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use modular arithmetic. And let me first remind you guys how it works. Suppose a and n are integers where n is greater than 0. We denote a mod n to be the remainder of the division problem a divided by n. Now, a property that we're going to use regarding modular arithmetic is the following. If a mod n is equal to a prime and b mod n is equal to b prime, then it turns out we have that a b mod n is equal to a prime b prime mod n. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start out the proof, let's give ourselves an arbitrary integer. I'll call it n. And the whole goal from here is to show that n squared has either the form 4k or 4k plus 1, where k is an integer. Now, to start, let's consider the division problem n divided by 4. We know that there are four possible remainders. The remainder is going to be either 0, 1, 2, or 3. Therefore, n mod 4 is equal to either 0, 1, 2, or 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to show in all four cases, n squared has the form 4k or 4k plus 1. And to show that n squared has the form 4k or 4k plus 1, it suffices to show that n squared mod 4 is equal to either 0 or 1. So we're going to show that n squared mod 4 is equal to either 0 or 1 in all four cases. Let's start with the case where n mod 4 is equal to 0. If n mod 4 is equal to 0, then if we apply this property, well then, we know that n times n mod 4 is equal to 0 times 0 mod 4. And 0 times 0 is just equal to 0. And the remainder of the division problem, 0 divided by 4, is 0. Because 0 is divisible by 4. Okay, so now, Let's move on to the case where n mod 4 is equal to 1. Well, applying this property again, it follows that n times n mod 4 is equal to 1 times 1 mod 4. 1 times 1 is equal to 1, and the remainder of the division problem, 1 divided by 4, is 1. So now, let's move on to the case where n mod 4 is equal to 2. Applying this property again, we have that n times n mod 4 is equal to 2 times 2 mod 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and the remainder of the division problem 4 divided by 4 is 0, because 4 is divisible by 4. So now let's move on to our final case, where n mod 4 is equal to 3. In this case, we apply our property again, we get that n times n mod 4 is equal to 3 times 3 mod 4. 3 times 3 is equal to 9, and the remainder of the division problem, 9 divided by 4, is 1. So we have covered all four cases. And in all four cases, we see that n squared mod 4 is equal to either 0 or 1. If the remainder of the division problem n squared divided by 4 is 0, then n squared must have the form 4k. If the remainder of the division problem n squared divided by 4 is 1, then n squared must have the form 4k plus 1. So, this tells us that n squared has either the form 4k or 4k plus 1. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.